All right, so it's now time to create a carousel in pure CSS, a pure vertical slider in CSS. All right, so I will put the source code in description. You just have to grab it and don't forget to like and subscribe indeed. So you just you can take it as an exercise if you want. You can do, uh, try to do it on your own. You don't need any resources. You don't need anything. You can build it in pure HTML CSS. All right, so now we are going to create it right now so we can just go there and start with the HTML so we will create a frame that will wrap everything and then a carousel 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 it depends on the language then inside it I will have multiple elements so um, I can just do it like that and inside it I will add some text incredible incredible and then I will add perfect all right awesome and there I've put punctual because I have no imagination anymore and the last one must be exactly the same as the first one all right incredible and incredible it's really important to have the same at the top and the bottom okay great great now we can go on the CSS right there and create the frame so position relative for the absolute element inside it. I will just put top 100 pixel just to move it from the top so we can open with live server and it will uh, show it. All right, it's right there. So top 100 pixel, margin zero auto to center it, a width of 600 pixel, a height of 200 pixel, a border radius, 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 of two pixel like that and then a background of RGB 55 three times okay and if you want to have it on hexadecimal you can just click it 37 37 37 great and then color white and overflow hidden all right so white without the hashtag indeed okay so we do have our text right there Okay, it's looking good, it's looking good. Now we do want to create our elements like that and they need to take the full width and height of that container like that. So we can just grab the element and put text align center, font size 50 pixel. Okay, great. And now the little trick will be to do line height 200 pixel. Okay, so if you put exactly the same value here and here, it will just take the full height and it will center your text on Y. Why you will say? Because uh, with 200 right there, you put 100 there and 100 bottom. So it will just center your text like that. All right, great. So now we can just make our carousel slide. So animation, I call it, I've called it carousel, just carousel. Okay, it will uh, spend eight seconds, easy out, infinite, like that. Great, so we can create it right there, keyframes carousel. So from 0% to 20%, it will be transform translate Y, zero. Okay, it's the beginning. Then 25%, 45%, transform, transform translate Y minus 200 pixel. You see that it's exactly the same as the height of the frame. Mm -hmm. So you can then just copy it and paste, paste, paste. And so you will just write 50, 70 and 75, 95. And then at 100 percent, you do want it to be at minus uh, 800 and then minus 600, minus 600. And then right there, minus 400. Okay, okay, great. So what's going on right there? Well, you will understand it if you just right click, inspect it, and you can undock it right there. And if you go, if you hover the carousel element, you'll see that it's sliding from the bottom to the top. All right, so this is the animation. This is as simple as that. We are just translating on Y. So minus 200, minus uh, 400, etc., etc. And for each 200 value, it will show a different uh, text right there. 
So why do we need to have exactly the same incredible and incredible text right there? Because at the end of my, uh, my animation, it will just go back to zero. Look, it will slide, slide, and then the default behavior of a CSS animation is to go back to the original value. And what is the original value? It is zero. So zero is the incredible element and minus uh, 800 is the incredible element too. So at the end, it will just go at the beginning and it will uh, continue again and again and again infinitely. All right, great. It was as easy as that. Indeed, with JavaScript, we can do some better things. We can do a lot more. But if you need a little uh, slider like that, it can work perfectly fine without any JavaScript at all. Great. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You do have the source code in the description if you want to grab it. And well, see you next time. See you next time. Ciao.